From Rivers Property in Schenectady, New York, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton. Chris, this is so exciting. We are in my hometown. Really? Yes, Rivers Schenectady just opened up. My parents live 10 minutes from here. My high school is five minutes from here. The place where I lost my virginity is still Amsterdam, but definitely thought about it a lot when I lived here. Well, you're not alone as being the only virgin on the show tonight. We've got a cast of characters who are making their poker night debuts here in Schenectady, including Ashley Dean. And one player who's definitely been there before but can never seem to act like it, Phil Helmut Jr. Let's get down to the film. Well, our first ever event here at Schenectady has everyone buying in for the exact same amount. That's not like typos or anything, right, Joe? Well, it's good. It's a nice egalitarian, fair way to kick things off. Egalitarian? What? That just means equal. Okay. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Yeah, baby! Deal, man. King of the hill. Do you get your picture on the belt like the old boxers do? Like Rocky I feel like I should. That belt. The king of the hill belt. Watching, I better pull on my belly. Do it. I think you just sling it over your shoulder. It's more intimidating that way. Uh, Deal, man. I like it. See, that's how I'd wear it. Like Worf on Star Trek. You know, like that yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. that he wore. That's what I would do. I just keep that on while you're playing. That's a pretty obscure reference there, Worf on. No, I have to tell you Who doesn't know who Worf is? <laughs> from, that's from that generation. That's fine. I was going to say, like, guys there's, are there's age. Be a know geek, there's got to be is. geeks that know Ashley that. Ashley might on. not know what the hell we're talking about. Yeah. I wasn't listening. What happened? Did you mm-hmm. guys, you guys, I don't think you guys ever sent out a picture. Five of the ace tray with a couple of hearts. Okay. Casello's flopped the nut flush draw. Damascio flopped a set of threes. Woo! Well, Montese with a decision. You know, my mom used to teach at a Montese school nearby. Hey, oh. Raise. Deep folds. And I really like this raise, given what everyone else has got. Does this come from the Fun. win a small one instead of lose a big one category? I'm all in. No, you just want to protect your hand and you want All to raise in. while you're sure you have the best one. It's a draw heavy board. Really easy for someone to have a straight draw or an ace or two hearts. And it's very unlikely that you're losing right now. I call. Well, Casella's all in and Dimaggio makes the call. You want to run it once or twice? Oh, we're in New run York. Run it one time in New York oh, State. Oh, man. Go, baby. I like that straight. turn. But the right. turn's a four. That's the straight for Casella. Wow. Split pots. Wow. <laughs> straight wow. on the board. Wow. wow. Damn, that's You sucks. can breathe now, Paul. Wow. Pretend you ran it twice and you wow. both got there. Well, I don't know if Ashley Deeb learned how to straddle from Sean or Sean learned from her, but yeah. like husband, like wife. Like Ashley Deeb putting in $100 blind. She's going to get that glass before the flop. She's a great dog, though. Three fifty. Almuth is raising up from the big blind to three fifty with King Jack. And three playable hands. Domination, nation, nation. Let me feel I'm the same way about those chips. The little ones need to be on top of the big ones. <laughs> Helmuth dominating Deeb, dominating Montesi. And the flop is 10, 3, queen. Six. Two pair for Montese. Checks Helmuth up and down. $600 bet from Helmuth. Not enough to get rid of Deeb. And it's not going to be enough to get rid of Montese either. Two thousand. Raise. And there comes a raise to two thousand. And I like this raise too. Same situation as before. Lots of pairs out there. Lots of draws. Diamonds. Broadway draws. They can all pay you off here, and you're very likely to have the best hand. (laughs) 
It's like a security <laughs> blanket. What's he doing? He's so nonchalant with it, too. Like, I've been wearing this my whole life. Ah, oh, my belt. <laughs> That's one drawback there is you do fold out some worse hands, but the board's way too wet not to raise. All right, so we're heads up, going to the turn with 5,600 in the middle with Montese and Helmuth. The turn is a six, that doesn't help Helmuth. Doesn't change much about this board whatsoever. And Matt should want to bet again here. He's an even bigger favorite. 3,000. He bets 3,000. That's a call. Phil is getting almost three to one, but he's a four to one dog. 3,000, eh? Phil does call while this pot's big, now up over 11,000. You have a set? <laughs> he almost answered him. The river is a nine and Helmuth gets there. Mullen. Did he actually get there for once? I think I have the nuts. You're good, good. 4,150. You got me. See, Phil, I've got a belt too. Uh, Joe, that's it's not. It's not really the same thing, is it? Nope. Yet somehow it looks way less stupid. He's kind of right. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free, so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to Poker Night in America here at Rivers Schenectady. Chris, can you spell Schenectady? I grew up here and even I struggle with it. I bet I can. Here we go, Schenectady. S-K-I-N-N-E-C-K-T-I-D-D-Y, Schenectady. Nailed it. Look at that, it's a hit and run for Phil Helmuth. Boy, oh boy. Well, Fred, the stream, Bartlett, the welcome. Frank to the said it'd be okay. <laughs> All right, so ace queen here for Frank Casella. Demacia straddled. Rice is in with 10 9 off. That'll teach you to raise my, my strength. It's now 900 from Casella. Casella doing what he should with ace queen. I wanted to play that hand. Yep, yep, that was where Phil was sitting about a second ago, but he finally got there and then he got out of here. And a call from Rice, so we're heads up. Five nine of diamonds. <laughs> you still remember that hand? <laughs> How am I gonna forget it? Ace this, king. Is, this is about how Ace this king. one rolled out, right? Ace, and Ace the flop king. is three, it's nine, ten. Wow. So this is gonna be another hand Frank's not likely to forget anytime soon. <laughs> At least you know I don't have the nine of diamonds. A check and a bet of 1,900 from Casella. Once again, I really love a raise in this spot. All in. Ah, there it is. If we hadn't played that hand yesterday, it'd just be an easy fold. Well, I take it you don't have an over pair. I do not have an over pair. All right, I call. Top two. You got top two? You're yeah. in really good shape then. I just have ace high. You folded king 10. Folded king 10. I mean, Casella doesn't even have a diamond to hope to run out. Wow. You're gonna win. Look at this. He is dead on the what turn, I, and he is also five. dead on the river. Well, there we go, a $17,000 pot. I guess we're just gonna play biggies tonight. Anytime. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tip you with Matt's money. You got more than I got. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Deep straddling. Mash shows in, 98 suited. 225. Raise it up. It's almost a raise, isn't it? That is a lot of spades. Bartlett calls.
And Ashley Deeb calls with seven Trey. Like father, like daughter. She is, she is Sean Deeb's daughter, right? And even with all those spades out there, we do find two more on the flop. There's no way the flush can come out, right? 13 spades in the deck. There's two, four, six, eight. That's like almost all of them. And it's the worst flush draw that's gonna bet this. Babbitt bets 700. Action now on Bartlett. Ashley Deeb folds the best hand, definitely not blood related to Sean Deeb. So Joe, what do you do now if you don't do that? I have my own uh, cleaning and painting business. When I found out uh, I was gonna become a parent, I uh, decided to start working for myself. Restaurant business is fun though. It's fun. I liked it. It's fast, a lot of hours. Yeah, it's a lot of hours. It's a young man's business. Yeah. That's where I learned and how to run businesses, though. What's that? I said it's a young man and woman's business. Young person. Person, yeah. That nice back pedal. So it's actually Babbitt who has the best hand now. I feel like people are only correcting themselves because I'm sitting here. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I was just responding to whatever he said. So the bet's 1400 from Babbitt. I think Phil did that earlier, too. Got a call from Bartlett. When you play poker with all guys yep. all the time, you just don't think about it sometimes. Yeah. Mascio folds. It's important to remember Bartlett has two big cards and also a straight draw. Oh, look at that. The flush gets there. Uh, and the straight. He's officially the old. <laughs> well, this flush is very bad news. Did you get 86 or 87? I was going. 86. John Wayne Babbitt might be about to get his pot cut off. Too much? Barely made it out. Time for flush. You're much better. Nice hand. Nice hand, buddy. Ooh, that is a good just call from Babbitt. Smart enough to know nice Ray's is never getting paid off by a worse hand. Welcome back to Poker Night in America at Rivers Schenectady, where Joe Stapleton couldn't be bothered to go to his high school reunion. You know who else went to my high school? Who? Oh. Brian Chesky, the guy that started Airbnb. He is a literal billionaire. I'm mm. not gonna compete with that. That's true. You know, Doug Polk was actually asking me if you could maybe get him, Chesky, into the game. Yeah, he it's... doesn't return my tweets. No, that's a shock. All right, guys, so here's what happened. Fred Bartlett, you know, Fred, he moved to seat six. Then we got some new players, Doug Polk, Todd Dugan, Brandon Lamora. You know those guys, okay? It's like the music stopped and everyone just picked a seat. Yeah, it's kind of a new game. All right. Uh, Doug, your uh, your hat's on crooked. Doug, uh, your hat, it's, um, it's just a little. <sighs> uh, I wish I could be as third as cool as it needs to be to have a flat bill and to where it's a little sideways. <laughs> if I could be one third that cool, I feel like I'd be in. Just put on a fedora and get it over with. <laughs> Action's over to Fred Bartlett. He folds. Mm -hmm. Another one of our new players in the small blind is ready to get involved. Brandon Lamora, welcome to the table. And Casella makes it 1,100 with eights. So Brandon's probably gonna raise this up a little, Lamora. Huh? Huh, Lamora? And now another raise. Is it the third or the fourth raise that's 20. always aces? I can't remember. I think it's the ninth one now. Frank Casella, by the way, who called it off with ace queen a few moments ago on a flop, is definitely never getting away from eights. 5,800 in the middle as we go to the flop. Aces and eights, dead man's hands. All right, let's get some cocktails. 10-6, Jack. Yeah, please. Wow, that was Action great. Action on Lamora. Checks. Um, do we have a cocktail waitress or? Oh, awesome, thank you. I've been sober for minutes. 3,000. <laughs> 3,000. All in. All in. Call. Call. Two, oh, aces. Two aces, Frank. <clears throat> Thank 
All right, deuce on the turn. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't even thinking about it. And a queen on the river. Welcome to the table. What do you? Lamora's got himself eighteen thousand dollars just like that. You can take it. You can take it back. Now. Take it back if you want. Nah, I'll leave it in there. All right, dead right. And you're gonna make it fifty-one. Yeah, look at you, you little that. maniac. Well, you Yolo. Make it too, if that <laughs> he wants all kinds of action. Almost Raised misclicked. Raised to six hundred from Lamora. Queen Jack suited. Almost misclicked. Queen Jack not suited. For Casella, he's in. Got a call from Babbitt. Come on, aces. <laughs> <laughs> Who were the shot? <laughs> Are we really supposed to say that and then tank three bet? I don't know what I'm gonna do after I go like four days without spending time with you. I know. It's... <laughs> How will you ever survive? It's coming up though because. I'm gonna spend four days in Chicago. We're gonna be in different cities for four days. <laughs> That'll It'll happen. It'll be hard to hang out. <laughs> we can Skype. Uh, we can Skype. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you, Frank. <laughs> you, don't, you don't understand how much, like, how much time I've spent with Frank. It, it's, it's been a lot of things. We're, we're gonna start riding in the, in the same car to the casino together. Give a little action anyway, right, Frank? All right, here comes our flop. It's uh, ace, like it. eight, king, couple of spades. Babbitt flops best, but it is a bit of a scary board. Babbitt's got a blocker for both Casella and Lamora straights. Call. Well, the 975 bet from Lamora's got one caller. Potential nuts for the entire board. Now, A7, on the other hand, should be a fold. You're almost never good. Improving is difficult, and even when you do, you still might not have the best hand. When it goes bet, call, call here, A7 is just never winning. Toasted to the muck it goes. So now Casella's got the best draw. Optimistic to call it a draw, but you know, <laughs> look at that. Until a four of spades comes on the turn. So, yeah, Casella now does pick up the flush draw. And if you're the original better and you got two callers and another spade comes out, alarm bells are going off. Absolutely. And Casella is going to semi bluff this. Twenty-four twenty-five is the bet from Casella. It's a tough call to make with Ace Ten. Yep, that's out of the way, especially knowing you're going to have to call again on the river. Thanks. And a fold from Lamora, so well, Casella is going to take it down with zero friction coming back at him from that bet. Oh, <laughs> Where's this guy going? Honestly, that would have been the worst I think he's just rearranging his chips. Cash. I'm good, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Can I get a rack, Nick? I'm yeah. done. Oh no, <laughs> he wants a rack. Winning. Time to hit the food court, I guess. Oh, man. That would have been bad. It was all in the line there. I know. Pretty good. See, I wouldn't leave right away, but I'd be full of aces, ace king. Oh, because <laughs> it's running so cold now, guys. Well, the first thing I would do is I would leave the table for like 20 minutes, and then I'd come back, fold like five more hands, and then say, well, gosh, now it's time for me to go. Frank, you on tilt here, or should I throw yes. you, you, you light? Yeah, well, go ahead. He didn't call behind me. So, Dugan straddled. Casella raised with 10 9 off. Sean was going to play the session. Yeah. Doug's three betting, a six suited from the small blind. The gentleman stayed. Who's some coming guy, in? Some guy came down from the track and demanded a seat. Yeah, yeah. Six, yeah. separate tantrum. Eight. Across Eight. The I, 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 I thought I was going to, I thought for sure he was going to fold there. I thought for sure. I was like, Did you really? Yeah. No way, no way he can call. In what universe do you think you would fold? It was nice playing with you. Congrats on that last big spot. Congrats, man. Congrats. Nice play, brother. He's coming in. If you open your eyes, you got to pull it in. It's on now. Oh, yeah. Oh, look who's here. Sean Deeb shows up mid-hand. Well, Doug's got the exact flop he wants, two clubs. He gets to continue. We played great. So we played great. Is that what you said? 32. 
And Frank's raising middle pair. All in. All in. Call. All right, so I uh, I got the nut flush draw. You got a flush draw? That's good. I like my spot then. Hey, Frank. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, it's going to be devastating. Oh, nice hand, Frank. Hey, Frank. Yeah. 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 Back up again. All right, That's let's get some more drinks yeah. from Frank's celebratory. <laughs> Really what are you guys drinking? Frank Casella faded harder than that photo from Back to the Future. Don't go anywhere, guys. More Poker Night in America after this. It's your density. Heavy. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to Poker Night as we take a break halfway through day one here at Rivers in Schenectady. No one profiting bigly yet, but Matt Montesi is down a few buy-ins. Casella is up a few, and Doug is down a little. I'd expect him to come on real strong next time. Oh, yeah, Doug's real strong, and he's got the tank tops to prove it. You guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, uh, how about this video next? Or, or what about this one? For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. And for everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to brand us the belt, but I got lucky. <laughs>